So there is such a freedom and joy and greater courage and boldness when you're con- when work becomes not not a, an ambition, not a God that you are looking to for an identity, for a sense of happiness that you need, but rather it becomes just an act of loving contribution. It actually enables you to have your work come from a place of deep courage because you can do what God's actually put in your heart, not just what you feel you need to do to make a certain amount of money or be liked or meet a certain criteria. You can actually be more bold, more daring, more faith driven, as you would say, more creative, more compassionate and more free. When you get to the spot, so much of, I think, spiritual formation, discipleship, Christian spirituality, whatever you want to call it is about coming to a place in our heart where we are detached in a healthy way from outcomes, where how we live really matters and the work that God's called us to do, the business he's called us to lead or start or you know whatever. In my case, the, you know, the books he's called me to write and the teachings he's called me to do, it all matters a lot, but man, I, I'm, my emotional well-being is not tied to the outcomes, you know? So for me, I'm, I'm not an entrepreneur, you know, I'm a, I'm a writer and so I have a, I have a new book coming out. And I'm really worried that it's not going to do very good. Um, My last one did really good. And that's totally out of my control. And so if I can get to the spot where, man, I know what God's called me to do, to write this book. And I want to work my tail on off it. I want to make it the best thing I've ever done. And I want success to be, man, this this was born out of prayer and sweat and blood and tears in my life and our church. And here it is. And that's success, whether three people read it or 300,000 people read it. I'm not in control of that. I abandon outcomes and I'm not emotionally dependent on either outcome for me to be at a place of peace and love and joy. That is what has the potential to come, not just if you slow your life down, but if you actually recalibrate your metrics for success. 